Hi, welcome to Lunch Lady Lucinda. Today I've got a video for you about all the gadgets that I've got for my children's lunch boxes. Um, so stick around and you'll find out what. Right, so first of all, I wanted to point out that you don't need any gadgets for this. I think the the biggest thing that you need would be cling film. Um, so all the little things that I cut out, you could just um, draw on a bit of paper, cut the piece of paper out and then put that on top of the fruit or vegetable and cut it out with a knife from that so you don't need tons of cookie cutters and you don't need loads of moulds for the rice, you can just use cling film, just use what you've got. If it's something that you keep on doing every day, then invest in something if you've got the money for it. If not, it's, it's fine, you don't have to do that at all. Right, so let's get to it. So here we've got the seaweed. A lot of people have been asking me about this. So um, this one I've just got from Morrison's and it comes in a pack of three um, and they're just small sheets. And then if you wanted a larger sheet, um, I got these ones from Tesco's. Um, and they just look like a sheet of paper. You can crumple them like paper. Um, so this is what I use for the eyes and the nose and all the little black detail in all of the rice balls um, now to make perfect circles I use a hole punch which is over here um, you can just get these on eBay um, and there's just they make perfect circles um, and then I've also got one that's a love heart and that's quite good for noses and little hair bows um, I actually already had this in my supplies so um, that was for crafting but I bought this one as well just for the seaweed um, and then I've got absolutely tons of cookie cutters these ones are brilliant they're quite small and they came as a pack all together for quite cheap on eBay um, I'll link that in the description as well and these were also from eBay these are fantastic so not only are they a cookie cutter but you can also indent um, whatever you're cutting so you can just push that down into the cookie or the watermelon or whatever it is and a little indentation goes on the top of it so it doesn't go right the way through so they're brilliant um, you can see them in my pictures with the cookies I've done these two um, lots more cookie cutters these I've just come across I have no idea where they're from they're just some that I've kept in the cupboards for years sorry my phone just cut out then um, so here we've got um, a straw, I just use that as a cookie cutter to be honest with cheese and things um, for the middle of flowers. Um, some small scissors, They're, you need them to be small because when you're cutting out the mouth uh, with the seaweed it can be quite fiddly so big scissors it just makes it harder. Um, so obviously this is a chopstick um, but I don't really use it to eat. Um, I'm not very good with a chopstick. What I use it for is when I cut something out of a cookie cutter, so say I'm cutting some cheese and I cut it out, if it gets stuck in the end, um, I just push it through like that um, and it just pops it out. That's all I use it for. But actually I use it quite often. And sometimes um, to pick up the, I just wet the bottom of this, pick up the seaweed and then pop that onto the rice as well. So it just helps me with a steadier hand. Um, lots and lots of people have been talking about moulds. They are brilliant. They definitely save a lot of time. Um, sorry, a lot of time. But, I mean, I think for this and this, they're quite inexpensive really, £10, but it's not worth getting if you're not going to do it all the time. Um, it's just going to end up being another thing, sign your cupboards, cluttering up. The This is the cutter that came with it. It came as a set. Um, you're just supposed to press that with the seaweed inside and a little face comes out. Well, I haven't got on with it at all. Um, I don't know if it's the way I'm doing things, um, but every time I use it, it doesn't cut out properly. There's a bit that's not worked. The mouth has never come out perfectly. So I don't even bother with them. Um, it just it just ends up faffing about too long and takes me even longer. Right, so to use this mull, it comes in three bits. What you would do is, if you can see there's a little lip there. You pop that into there. 
and then you would put your seaweed in the middle not your seaweed sorry your rice into the middle then you would get this flat end and just push it down on there and then you would twist it over and take it apart and then the rice would be in there as the mold and I just sort of give it a little wiggle and the panda pops out and then it's a perfectly shaped panda um, I have used this for lots of different things, so not just a panda. I've used brown rice because the little face doesn't isn't an indentation; it's just completely round. Um, I've used it for a pussy cat, and then I've just changed the ears, um, and I've used it for a bear. Um, so you you'll see that in the photos that I've used that one quite a few times. It definitely saves time, but um, without a doubt, you can just use cling film, and it, it's the complete same effect. Um, what else have we got? Fruit eyes, the fruit forks. So basically, same as the name, you just pop it in to a bit of fruit or an egg and it just gives it some googly eyes. They're great. They're from eBay as well. Um, what else have we got? Ah, the lunch box. So these are the lunch boxes that I give my children. I've got three of these. Two of them are being used at the moment. You just pull this out. And there's your knife and fork. And then just lift off the top. And that's all the pictures that you see will be in this. Um, unless it's the snack ones and that's in a slightly smaller tub. But I just put a bed of lettuce, pop the rice in and then put all the lovely little bits and pieces all around the edge. And that's it. That's my little stash. So thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, just pop them in the comments and I'll answer them all. Um, if you'd like any other ideas of anything, let me know what other videos you'd like to see. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.